Oh no, we gotta stop the primate terrorists on the plane. Welcome back to the plane, the airplane. What kind of plane? The airplane of existence. In the air. Also, this is the part of the game where the difficulty has spiked hilariously. Welcome to Hardtown, USA. Also, we got Blowing Wind. It's present in nearly all the airplane levels. I don't even know if that's... Actually, no, it might occur again at another point, but yeah. How do I stay on? Why do the cannons fire on me? Shit. Please place the road. There. Okay, duck. Duck, you absolute maniacal fool. Whoa. Hey. I know you think you're fast as a speedy bullet, but you can't just jump on a bullet. You think this is some bullet build nonsense? You stupid idiot. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put you on a trophy on my wall. Hmm. Just thinking really hard. How would I bypass this? I've actually been on a plane several times. I don't mind it at all. Like I get less air sick than I do. Car sick and especially seasick. Wow, seasickness is the worst. It usually happens when, like, the waves are just choppy. It's like, I can't do it, man. The funny part is that, like... <laughs> the person who I knew was the least seasick and uh, was the one least able to keep his insides from going to his outsides. I theorize that's what happens when you don't have pain receptors. You don't take cautious to take care of yourself. So it's like, oh, yeah, it's fine. And it's like, oh, okay. Sure. Anyway, no, I feel great on an airplane. I think the only time I don't feel great on an airplane is when, you know, I have to be, like, on one flight of a hundred, in which there's a crying baby near me. And it's not really the baby's fault, it's the parent's fault, so I can't really blame them. Who goes around blaming infants? That's silly. It's just like, dude, you know, the baby might not enjoy the air pressure escaping its little ear, tiny ears like that, you know? That's usually what that happens. But no, I, I honestly like, I like the whole, like, just waiting in the gate, be like, you know, just chilling. Going to, like, the cafe while I'm waiting for my plane. Um, then there's the boarding part. I, I like the actual boarding, like, you've seen what those boarding tubes are like when you walk up. You go in and you walk through, it's like, hey, <laughs> I'm going to a passageway to another universe. It's like, oh wait, no, it's just the plane. Then you have this, like, pseudo chunky Yeager guy being like, uh, thank you for taking the, uh, flight, uh, uh, we'd like to, uh, apologize for being the most awesome flight ever. <laughs> the, uh, the airline tells us that we'll have to wait for a few other flights, but I say we're number one and we're going right now. Alright. Oh, and the stewardesses, or whatever we're calling them right now. I have given up because the terminology is set, has been changed six times within my life, I believe. So, I guess flight attendant probably works now. Plus, actually, steward and stewardess is technically vague in terms of occupation. At least when you say, like, barista or sandwich artist, you're like, yeah, we know. But in any other context, a steward can mean a lot, so... Rarely the one stage where I don't need to mess with any levers. It's odd. You can mess with them if you want and see the different speeds these platforms go in, or you can stop moving. Da -da -da. I think I'm in I think I'm in the engine right now. Oops, don't want to mess with that. I guess not really. You get another one of those multiple locked door situations too. But if you're paying attention, you can always see what door is the one you need to go in, because that's where Pauline's crying now with an English voice actor, which I don't know who to credit. I guess we can check the credits for that. Be a fun time in credit land. You got a... <laughs> you got a coffee! Yeah, I'm, think, I'm thinking that right now. It's like, don't rely on that. I, I want to rely on it a little bit. But there might be better ways to go about that shit. Hey, you can't do that. This is an airplane. 
Also, wait, is there, like, weapons on the airplane? This is, like, the Air Force thing. I think we took a military plane, which... Why would a military plane be going to Egypt unless they're trying to recreate the plot of Stargate? I just answered my own question. What is this thing, exactly? Is that, like, a sentient gear that we're gonna use for, like, 6th, 7th generation Pokemon? I really don't know what that is. To a... Sprites too small that are abstract and I can't understand them. Oh no. I wonder if someone would go around and be like, okay, I'm gonna make Mario Maker levels that are like key door puzzles. Yeah, maybe. Again, still apologize if people want to do the Mario Maker stuff. Or even like, um, there's another like fan game engine called Super Mario X that people make a lot of stuff on. And I'm not actually one for doing that. Mainly because, A, we're using the title screen engine, and that uh, kind of puts that idea out immediately. And two, like, I find ROM hacks of Mario to be higher quality, generally, than the Mario Bros. X stuff, even though there's a lot of ways to experiment with it. That's not to say you're the worst thing in the world. It's just... I've seen better, and, like, I've got so much I can do right now. I've, I, have to be, I have to be a little fussy about what I actually want to do on this channel. But... Um, kudos to the Super Mario Bros. X like, community for still going after all this time. Although I can run their stuff just fine. Like I said, it's just, uh, you know, design design leaves much to be questioned. And that's before we get into other custom Mario engines people make for stuff that have, like, other large communities behind them, which I don't really know about. <laughs>